So, Magnus Carlsen has played 5961 games on his Magnus Carlsen account on chess.com. And this is his first ever game. Magnus Carlsen played in a simul against 12 other players, one of which was a celebrity, and it was the real Rain Wilson. The dude who is Dwight from The Office. He also played against a couple of GMs and some lower rated players. All at the same time, and this is the game he played against Rain Wilson. Drop a like, and let's go. Magnus plays E4, and Rain Wilson, knowing a little bit about chess, plays the modern defense does he know the theory potentially not but kind of cool that he played that and he didn't just play something like e5 like Wee! magnus brings his knight to f3 and rain pushes d6 all book moves magnus then pushes d4 into the center to control as much as the center as he can at the moment he's controlling quite a lot the usual way people play chess is they fight for the center but with the modern you want to attack from the side keep an eye on it it's more of a modern way of playing the game yeah because magnus is bishop f4 still developing and then Rain plays the first move out of theory, which is g4 with his bishop. Slight inaccuracy because it now gives Magnus the chance to play an incredible move. Do you see it? Boom! <laughs> now we're talking. Because if the king takes, which Rain does, Rain's like, ooh, what the hell is he doing? Takes the bishop, and we have a knight check here. The knight checks the king and also unleashes the queen to then retrieve the bishop. Knight is protected by this bishop. So it's kind of just a free piece out of nowhere. Rain moves back and Magnus takes the bishop. So far, it's looking kind of domination for the greatest player of all time. Surprise, surprise. Looks like Rain couldn't sell himself out of that because he's a salesman in the office. H6 with the knight, trying to develop his piece. But this is kind of just an inaccuracy because Magnus can just slide back, remain all of this pressure. Like this is still here. This is maybe coming in at one point. This is coming in and it's kind of looking a bit dangerous. Rain plays this move. He's not playing a terrible game. He's just made like one big mistake that has cost him the entire game. So he develops his knight. Like it's not a bad move. Magnus jumps his knight in, attacking the queen and the bishop. And it's kind of, it's like almost game over already. We're only nine moves into the game. Bear in mind that the time frame for this game is 25-10. So you get 25 minutes each side. And every time you make a move, you get 10 seconds. So it looks like Rain should be taking a bit more time with his moves. But he's only really made like one or two mistakes. But one or two mistakes in nine moves. That's, uh, can't be doing that against Magnus. Best move here is that. That's kind of wonker, isn't it? Because you could just give up the queen and then take back. And apparently this is stronger. The queen was doing nothing if it just went there. But Rain decides to just move it to the side, as a natural 1200 would do. Like, you don't want to lose your queen, right? Magnus recaptures the bishop with a check. Rain does what any human would do and try and get away from the check. Best move is actually f7 to uh, maybe attack this. And then when it comes back, it can't check again. But Rain goes d8 instead which allows Magnus to then check again. King is running out of moves. King's only move, Black's only legal move, is just to move the king across again. So the king's just going back and forth, back and forth. Magnus recaptures the piece for free that was just hanging on the side. Rain develops his knight out, maybe trying to get some sort of like, some sort of poor, I, what is he? He's just trying to get some freedom for his pieces because it's, because it's 12 moves into the game. And so far, not one of Black's pieces has gone past the fifth rank, apart from this bishop. But that didn't last very long. Magnus develops his knight to stop Rain from taking this pawn. Maybe he was hoping to... I can at least capture a pawn from the world champ. Rain brings his king in, so he's putting some pressure on this knight. Because if Magnus somehow played a move like this, then he could then take this and trade off. And he's, he gets a piece back, but he's still kind of down a lot of material. Magnus sees this idea and just pushes to uh, d5. Rain challenges on d5, d6. Like, he's not playing bad moves. Like, he's making relatively good moves. Like, in this position, what can you do? Magnus castles, and everything's good, everything's groovy. You can just trade off all the pieces. But it's Magnus Carlsen, he doesn't trade pieces. Not against Rain Wilson. Rain takes the pawn, Magnus takes back. Rain brings his queen out just to get it on a better square, connect the rooks. Maybe there's some sort of, like, hopes and dreams. Magnus brings his knight back, checking the king, forcing the king back a square. Only two legal moves. Rain chooses the right move, because if he went here, then it's just a force mate. Can't do anything. GG. So he chooses the right square for his king. Magnus brings his queen in, going for a checkmate. Rain goes for the queen trade, uh, hoping that if Magnus takes, you know, maybe he's got, he's down like four pieces, it's, it's game over. But Magnus doesn't accept the queen trade, and he checks. King goes to the side, because it's not a good idea to stay on the back rank, especially when the queen's right here. This sort of stuff's going to happen. You might lose both your rooks. So Rain goes d7. Magnus then moves his rook over to e1, just uh, threatening to maybe capture this pawn up top, and maybe go for checkmate. Rain protects the pawn as you do. Rook e6, kind of a cool move there. Threatening to uh, potentially take this knight because it's uh, obviously can't be taken because of the pin. 
Brain spots this, but by this time, Magnus E1 with the other rook, and now this bombardment is happening, whether or not he likes it, can't do anything about it, really. Brain goes for some last efforts to maybe checkmate him or get some sort of attack or something, but everything's protected, everything's good. Magnus plays E7, rook captures back, rook takes, because if the queen takes, Kind of some of the attack is lost because now the king can go here and you don't really have any good moves. Maybe you got this one, but then if you do do that, then you kind of get mated, so it's not very good. So Magnus takes back with the rook. And from here, it's a forced mate in four. Can you spot the forced mate in four? I bet you can. Magnus is up eight points of material. Rain had 20 minutes left and Magnus had 26 minutes left. Magnus played every single move within 10 seconds. <laughs> Bear in mind that he's playing 11 other people at the same time that he's playing this game, and he's still making moves within 10 seconds. Just looking at the board, yeah, yep. Brilliant moves, just like, yep. King's best move, back to c8. Can't go to d8, because then that's a forced mate in three. King's only moves. Boom, boom, boom. So rain rightfully goes to c8, check with the rook. Rook takes, only move. Queen takes. King's only move up. Knight e6, check. King's only move, and can you spot the checkmate? <gasps> boom. That is Magnus Carlsen versus Rain Wilson. This happened in 2014. Magnus won every single game that he played in the simul, except one game against a centimeter master. If we're looking at the accuracy of the game, like uh, Magnus played 99.1 .1 <laughs> with a brilliant move. 99.1% accuracy in a simul where he's making a move every 10 seconds. I guess if Rain gives the opportunity to make the best move every time, it's kind of straightforward for Magnus, but 99.1% accuracy, bonkers. In 28 moves, he made every single perfect engine move, as you do. Since the Magnus played like a 2400 and Rain played like a 1400. Uh, never really go off of these things. I don't think they're entirely accurate, but uh, it was interesting to look at. Just looking at the game that Magnus lost against the centimeter master in the simul, looks like there was a Trompowski, Magnus brought the bishop back. Is this a variation? I have no idea. I don't really know the Trompowski. Is this a variation of the Trompowski? Okay, he's taking the pawns, developing his pieces. Bishops coming out, castles. It's so mad to think that... Wow, that's kind of, kind of a cool little thing there. You take my knight, I take your knight, and now this knight's kind of hanging in the middle. Retreats, bringing out the bishop. It's kind of mad to think, like, how crazy... Is this pawn hanging? No? Okay. It's kind of mad to think, like, how crazy Magnus can be to win. Like, I don't know if you guys have ever played Simuels before, but they're, like, incredibly difficult. Oh, wow, this dude played a brilliant move. Holy crap. Yikers, look at that. He's sacking the queen, because if he does take, but then he takes the pawn there. Wow, look at that. Wow, well played by the centimeter master. Magnus has to hide with his rook, takes back with the rook, and then he's, he's, got, his, he's got the rook pair, and Magnus is down some material. Crazy. Magnus resigned in this position. Fair enough. Wow. Bonkers. I bet that dude was bloody pleased that day, wasn't he? Crikey. Okay, guys, that's the video. Have a good day. Thanks so much for watching. Drop a like and see you later. Bye.